Um, this one says, determine whether each quadrilateral is a parallelogram and justify your answer. So what we're going to do is just try to see if any of these rules apply to the parallelograms they gave us. The first one, it shows one pair of opposite sides congruent and parallel, and that was number eight. If one pair of opposite sides is congruent and parallel, then you have a parallelogram. So this one, yes, it's a parallelogram because you have one pair of opposite sides. congruent and parallel. Number two, it shows that the opposite angles are congruent. On your notes, it says if both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So yes, it is a parallelogram, both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. If both pairs of opposite angles are, yes, both pairs. Are. And then number three, it just shows that you have one set of like opposite sides that are congruent. You don't have enough information there. So no, you can't prove it's a parallelogram. Not enough info. It could be, but you can't say for sure. No, I put down not sure, not enough info. Mm -hmm. And number four, it shows opposite sides congruent. So yes, that is a parallelogram. Opposite sides congruent. And both pairs, of course. Coordinate geometry, for these, I'm not going to go through and graph and do all the work for these because it's, it's a lot and I'll lose your attention in it. So what I'm going to do instead is kind of teach you the, the concepts. And here's what it is. You would have to plot these points and it might come out to a parallelogram. That's obvious, it might not. But it's saying that you can prove this is a parallelogram from slope formula. And what they mean by that is if the slope of this line and the slope of this line is the same, and the slope of this line is the same as the slope of this line, that means that you have opposite sides parallel and you have a parallelogram. The equation for slope, if you were to need it, would be this, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that would give you the slope of a line. Honestly, I would graph it and see if I could figure it out without doing all that work, but if it was so close, then you'd have to. Then six, it says it wants you to prove this is a parallelogram with distance and slope formulas. So you would graph the parallelogram. Distance and slope formula. So if one set of opposite sides are congruent, and they have the same slope, then it is a parallelogram. So you'd have to find the length of a set of opposite sides and find its slope to determine that. And seven, midpoint formula. If you were to graph a parallelogram um, and the diagonals bisect each other, then the midpoint of this segment and this segment would fall at the same spot. So the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over two and y1 plus y2 over two. I didn't include many of these on the homework, maybe one or two. If you get them, this is how you would do it. But honestly, I would graph it first, see if I could figure it out before I did all of this. Then eight, nine, 10, and 11 are just like you saw yesterday. Um, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent, so you can set the expressions equal. I might start with just the x's. 2x minus 8 equals x plus 16. And solve for x. And then this side is congruent to this one. So you can set 2y equal to y plus 19 and solve that way.
Okay. And 9, 10, and 11 are just like you saw yesterday where you set the equal parts equal. Do you need me to walk you through more of that or you, you got it? The algebra is mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, we're going to flip to the back and just do the top four problems there. So number one, it shows that the diagonals are bisecting each other. So yes, that's a parallelogram. Diagonals bisect each other. Two, it just shows that one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So that is no, not enough info. Got you. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, by the way, there's free rapid testing at Lincoln Park now. I don't know if you guys knew that. Kind of yeah, good info up? to know. I don't know what time it opens. But good to know. Um, then opposite angles are congruent here. So, yes, it is opposite angles congruent. And then four, it shows one side congruent and one side parallel. Not enough info. The same side would have to be congruent and parallel for it to be able to prove it's a parallelogram. And then that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the rest of the class to work on your homework. If you finish homework, then work on Khan Academy.